peanut is actually one of is the most common food allergy um, amongst the eight most common food allergens. And while most kids will outgrow an egg, milk, soy, or wheat allergy, peanut tends to be lifelong. The prevalence of peanut allergies actually tripled from 1997 to 2008. And while we don't know exactly the reason, the leading hypothesis is the hygiene hypothesis, which states that we have become too clean a society. We're using all these different antibacterial products and the body doesn't have anything to actually um, attack anymore. So it starts to attack things that it normally was able to tolerate. Over the years, different uh, allergists have tried um, desensitization with oral immunotherapy. So the idea behind oral immunotherapy to peanuts or whatever other food may be uh, selected is to actually induce an immune tolerance to the food. So you start with introducing very, very, very small amounts of the peanut protein in this case to the patient who has a history of a known allergy to the peanut. and and giving them increasing amounts over um, a selected period of time and actually um, asking the their immune system to recognize and slowly tolerate the peanut protein. So the peanut desensitization clinic here at Mayo Clinic Jacksonville is um, based here in our allergy lab and it's done, we start with peanut flour which is mixed in a um, uh, oral it's or given orally and it's mixed with distilled water and some grape um, Kool-Aid in order to mask the peanut flour. The first day is the longest day of our protocol because we start with very, very small amounts and give you several doses um, in, in certain time increments. Um, it's done under strict observation. Patients has an IV so that we have um, access should we need to provide emergency medications to the patient. The ER is notified 